Emma, I refuse to have this conversation again. But, Father, please listen. I want to marry him. Marriage is not a simple whim. It's an altogether more complex business. This is no whim, Father. I love Sir Ashurst. He is the man I want to marry. It's that simple. It seems simple because you are little more than a girl, child. A proper marriage settlement involves gold and property. I refuse to simply be sold to the highest bidder like some mayor. You do me an injustice, Emma. I think only of you. Since your poor mother died, your happiness and security have been my sole preoccupation. All I want is to be free from this barricaded fort. Mercifully, you were too young to remember the months when this fort was besieged. The hunger and disease during which your mother died. Four nights I kept a vigil beside her until I would have died myself that day. But I had a baby to think of. It was you who kept me going. I promised her I would always look after you. A little flower, she called you. The day you were born, she had made me climb down from the ramparts... It picked the white flowers she loved. On the rocks. The only flowers that grow in this forsaken place. She loved those flowers. She made a garland of your cradle. Dearest father, you still think of me as a child, yet I am the age that she was when she married you. I will never stop being your daughter, but I long to be another man's wife. Sir Ashurst is the bravest officer under your command. You've often said he reminds you of your younger self. He's a born soldier. That makes me fear for you. Your grandfather begged me to leave the army when I wed your mother. He had it in his gift to arrange a position for me as a courtier, preening around London in some way. You were made to be an army colonel. The military is all I know, and all I desire is to be an officer's wife. Twice you have refused Sir Ashurst my hand. Soon he will receive his own command. But I long to leave here beside him. I long to see the world. You will see danger. Ashurst has already been wounded. Twice. Be honest, Father. Would you really want me to wed a coward who had never lifted more than a handkerchief to curtsy and snivel at court? I've lost you. Haven't I? In all my life, I have never asked you for anything. I beg only one thing now, Father. My freedom. At last we are alone, my sweet bride. Will my father not miss us from the wedding feast, sir? You are no longer Colonel Warrender's daughter. You are my wife, Lady Ashurst. Say it. Lady Ashurst. <laughs> How strange it feels. Oh, I'm so happy. Tonight I can walk along these battlements with you alone. No chaperone. Why, I feel almost indecent. <laughs> My love, we will be often alone from this night on, and in chambers where no chaperone would be appropriate. I hope you will not misjudge my shyness and modesty for reluctance. Uh, trust me. Awaiting your father's permission these three years, I have learnt patience. I trust your patience will be rewarded this very night. I love my father dearly, yet I confess that I will never feel free while we remain on this fort that he commands with such severity. These are dangerous times. The colonel may seem a hard taskmaster, but no soldier doubts that he is a fair one. They fear him, though. No man who follows orders need feel fear. Oh, my dearest Emma, from the first day I was stationed here, I knew you would one day be my bride. Tonight your fellow officers are celebrating what you have acquired. <sighs> Don't make yourself sound like a possession. How can I not feel like one, after watching you and my father barter over every last gold piece? <sighs> a good dowry is merely a means of showing that you're a lady of worth and standing. I asked for no more than your father felt it proper to give. Can I ask for nothing in return? <sighs> it's your wedding night, Lady Ashurst. Ask for anything your heart desires. Anything? Anything in my power. You see those rocks below this parapet, sir? <laughs> what need of you for a slab of rock? Hopefully not for me to sleep on. Your bed will be soft this night, <laughs> and it will not be solitary. Look, 
Beyond the rocks, at that small patch of clay. You see? Uh-huh. The white flowers growing there? I see them. What strange they grow there. They possess a secret that makes them so precious to me. Then I shall not rest until I lay them on the pillow of your bridal chamber. Oh, Ashurst, wait until daybreak. The moonlight is weak. It, it was just a whim. It's too steep. Please, Ashurst, you may fall. I've crossed steeper terrain in skirmishes with the native Irish. The wound in your leg is still not healed. The wound to my pride will be greater if you do not have them. Be careful. Five minutes, come on. I don't know we're missing. The photographer is waiting. Come back, I'll ruin my dress shop. Look, over here. Look, I just want a few minutes alone with you, Heather. I'm fed up with smiling for photographs and meeting and greeting elderly aunties. Look, this is our day, and I just want to remember it. Ah, oh, Sean. Nothing could make it more perfect. Beautiful here, isn't it? <laughs> we were right to choose this place. Hang on. Who was that? Where? Up there, on the ramparts. A, a girl in a long white dress. She, she just vanished. I didn't see anyone. Maybe one of the guests. Your Aunt Sally, she's been fairly knocking back the champagne no, all day. No, 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 no. She was young and she was running. I mean, where did she go? There's no way off that rampart. Look, maybe she's fallen. Sean! Look, I saw her. She looked scared. Uh, who was wearing white at the wedding? Where are you going? Are you out of your mind? Look, I, I can't see anyone. It's just rocks. She's gone. What are you doing? Look, I'm going to climb over, see if I can see her. Sean, please, wait. We'll get help. Be careful. Halt! Who goes there? Oh, my Lady Emma, are you alone? She is with me, Sentry. Return to your post. Well, what are you doing outside the parapet, Sir Ashurst? An errand of love. Trying to reach those flowers, but I fear my leg may still be too weak. Well, maybe, maybe I can be of service. No, sir. no, I'm nearly there. I'm afraid my leg... Oh, oh, please, sir, give me your hand. The flowers are of no significance, please. Climb up. Let me help. <sighs> <sighs> Lady Ashurst, will you accept my bouquet through an intermediary? Forget I asked for them, please. No, sentry, if you fetch them, you shall feel gold in your palm. But I can't desert my post, sir. I mean, you know the Colonel's temper. <laughs> then let me keep your watch. You do my task, and I will gladly do yours. Very well, sir. Here, take my tunic, sir. The night is cold for sitting, and I cannot climb with it. Thank you. It was a foolish request. Nonsense. They shall be your bridal garland. You're shivering, Lady Ashurst. Retire to our new chamber, and I will keep the sentry's watch, and shortly come to you bearing your secret flowers. Thank you, my dearest <sighs> Ashurst. Put on the tunic in case you catch a chill, and please make sure the sentry comes to no harm. Sean, there's no one there. Please come back up here. It's dangerous there. He'll be fine. Sorry, you scared the life clean out of me. I didn't mean to startle you, dear. I'm just locking up. Oh, the number of men I've seen climb those rocks over the years. Is he trying to pick flowers for you? Flowers? No, why? Romantic young men always do. Climbing back up is when they always get scared. Maybe because they remember how long it took the sentry in the old story. Those flowers, the white ones, see, belong to the bride of Charles Fort. 1677 it was. People still see her here often. See who? Lady Emma. You are the young couple getting married in the hotel, aren't you? Is that your bouquet? Yes. Beware of what you ask for on your wedding day. All Lady Emma wanted was flowers. Some claim that Lady Emma's father was alone when he made his rounds to check the sentries. And others say the Colonel was drunk and accompanied by revellers from the wedding. All agreed that the bridegroom must have drunk a lot himself to fall asleep, huddled in the shadows, with the sentry's tunic around him. Is this your best defense against the Irish Colonel? He's asleep or drunk. Let the sentry feel your boots. He'll feel my pistol. The sentry who falls asleep on duty here knows the penalty. Go easy, Colonel. I must maintain order. <laughs> oh, 
Emma, what are you doing out here? Where's Ashurst? What's happened? Back to your chamber, child. There's no cause for alarm. That sentry was neglecting his duties. Sentry? Oh, no. Oh, father, say you haven't shot him. Say the sentry has returned with the flowers. He was asleep. We could have all been besieged this very night by his negligence. You know the punishment. No! Oh, Ashurst, please, no. She's raving, Colonel. Shall I fetch her husband? Yes, quickly, sir. Ashurst, oh, my sweet, sweet Ashurst. Ashurst? That can't be Ashurst. You've killed the man I loved. You've killed me. What? How? I... There's a man climbing up the rocks. He's carrying something. Flowers. You just couldn't bear to see me go free. You never wanted me to be happy. I hate this great fort and this country. I hate you. Oh, my child, I thought he was... He, he wore a tunic. Oh, Emma. Emma. Emma, wait. Emma, come down from there! I refuse to be your prisoner again. Tonight I shall sleep with my husband! Emma! Have you seen her ghost? When this fort was manned, children often talked of a young lady in white leaning over the cot at night or smiling at them from the end of passageways. Officers in her old room often saw a white figure walking through the wall where a door used to be. Do you believe in her? There are hundreds of ghosts here, love. Scullery maids seduced and discarded by soldiers, mothers who stole bread imprisoned in these dungeons. Oh, pay no heed, love. Haven't you a young man head over heels in love with you? Look, he's safe now. Help him up. Sean! Take my hand. Oh, I, I had to make sure nobody had fallen. I mean, I could have sworn I saw someone. And I'm sure you won't be the last to see her either. What do you mean? I think you should concern yourself with one bride at a time. Go back to your wedding, son, and enjoy your happiness. Oh, Sean, look at you. You're so true. You could have been hurt. Come on, let's get back to the hotel. I really did think I saw someone. Look... Let's go back inside to everyone. Yes. Wait. I need to do something. What did you do that for? My sisters will kill you when they've no bouquet to catch. I'm leaving it for a different bride. One who likes flowers. Goodbye, Emma. <laughs>